free drugs will not be tolerated. Statements that would tend to incite and breach of peace will also not be tolerated. Hello, Board of Education and everybody here listening. My name is Jacob Marcatel. I'm sure most of you all here know who I am. Given the change from the very first time before, before you all, last time I was here, limiting my tax dollars to just three minutes of public comment, I'll make this very quick. I only have two things to discuss, but like I said, I'll be talking fast. And because of the time constraints, any interruptions will be added to the end of my talking. All right? So let's do this thing. First, I would like to read you all a small portion of your own code of conduct. The Clyde Savannah Code of Conduct, section 14, subsection A, point number 20, states this. No person, either alone or with others, shall engage in sexual behaviors on campus or at a district sanctioned event, such as an athletic activity. Taxpayers such as myself and everyone else in this room uh, expect this to be enforced on the entire campus of Clyde Savannah School District. Meaning, this applies to everyone on Clyde Savannah School District. Students, staff, visitors, everyone. Thank you. My second point. I would like to read a section from one of your own library books available to students. The book is titled Plan A by the author Deb Coletti described by the publisher of the book as such as this. This book is a story about a 16-year-old girl's road trip across the country to get an abortion. And on this book, on page 317, it says this. The doctor knocks. She has short blonde hair and crinkly smile wrinkles by her eyes. She squeezes my hand. When I lie back, there's a poster of a tropical island with a palm tree on the ceiling. The nurse returns and she gives me a blanket that's been warmed and that has a comforting bleachy smell. I get some medicine that makes me sleepy, but not asleep. I scoop to the end of the table, place my heels in the stirrups. I look at the clock, 10.30. Drowsy, pleasant palm tree island, the vague awareness of a machine, and the nurse asking if I'm okay. And then I'm sitting up. The clock reads 10.45. It's over. A short while later, Grandma and I are back in the car. I'm only a little drowsy, vaguely crampy. What I feel is a quiet understanding that it's over, and I am my own again. You, Board of Education, are either knowingly or unknowingly, I pray it is unknowingly, promoting and endorsing the systemic dismemberment of unborn children. Literal child murder is being endorsed in your library which, suffice to say, goes far above and beyond the evil of exposing them to sexual immorality. Do better, Clyde Savannah. I urge you to turn from this wickedness and do the right thing in the eyes of the God to whom you must give account. I have some handouts here. If you uh, think I'm making this up, I only made nine of them, so I see there's 10 of you here. You can uh, disperse them. If you don't want one, just toss it in the garbage, if you will. But this is just a preview of the stuff you are exposing your students to. Three minutes? Awesome. I'll stop talking now.